my channel. Ayan, nakita nyo na ako. Last time kasi, hindi ako nagpakita. This time, eto ako sa panibagong topic. Our topic for today is about the slope of a line. Let us define the slope. Slope of a line is the inclination of the line. It is the vertical change over the horizontal change or the rise over run. Now in this graph, let me show you the slope. This is a line graph and you have to know where the y-intercept is. The y-intercept is this point. So that is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So that is 0, negative 4. Okay, that is the y-intercept. So what you are going to do is to follow the rise over run. So from the point of y-intercept, you go up. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is rise. And then you go to the right. 1, 2, 3. That is the run. Therefore, our slope is 4 over 3. This one is another type of slope. So you are going to look at the y-intercept. Our y-intercept is 1, 2, 3. So that is 0, 3. Now what will be our slope? So, from the point of y-intercept, we go down. 1, 2, 3. And then, 1, 2. Now, in going down, that means that is negative. So, therefore, our slope is negative 3 over 2. In the slope that is rise over run, rise doesn't always mean going up. It also means going down. So, if you are going up, that means that is positive. And if you're going down, that means it is negative. Now, if you are given two points, this is our formula. M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So let us try to solve the slope. For example, we have the point 2, 3 and the other point is negative 3, 2. The first point will be our X sub 1 and Y sub 1. The second point will be our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, so let's try to solve. m is equal to y sub 2 is 2, then minus y sub 1 is 3, then over x sub 2 is negative 3, minus x sub 1 is 2. Okay, so let us solve. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Then, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So, negative 1 over negative 5 is also 1 over 5. Therefore, our slope is 1 over 5. Let us have another example. 5, negative 1, and the other one is 2, negative 1. Let us try to solve. M is equal to y sub 2 is negative 1 minus y sub 1 is negative 1 over 2 minus x sub 1 is 5. Okay? So, 1 minus negative 1. So, by subtraction, we change this sign. We change this sign. So, it becomes negative 1 plus 1 is 0 over 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So, what will be the final answer here? 0 as the numerator divided by a number is always 0. So, that means there is no slope. Let's now go to the third example. 4, 2, 4, negative 4. Let's start solving. M is equal to negative 4 minus 2 over 4 minus 4 is equal to negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 over 4 minus 4 is 0. Now, what will be your final answer if your denominator is 0? It is called undefined. Let's have the last example. Okay. So we have 5, 2. 
and 6, 1. Okay, let's solve. M is equal to 1 minus 2 over 6 minus 5. So, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. Therefore, our final answer is negative 1. So, our slope is negative 1. Now, we have four different kinds of slope. The first one is the positive slope. The second one is the zero slope. The third one is the undefined slope. And the last one is the negative slope. In this lesson, there are three things that we have learned. The first one is you have learned how to identify a slope in a graph. The second one, how to solve a slope given two points. And the third one is the four different kinds of slope. We still have a lot of things to learn about slope. So till our next video, bye for now.